Hello everyone, this is Eric Brona from EBI Science and Research and today we are going to disassemble the HP Stream 11. Now this PC is strictly for using online such as streaming or anything else like that. This is not an upgradable PC as other PCs with things changing out such as CPU, RAM, or the SSD. Uh, the HP Stream has only two USB ports, one USB 3.0 and one USB 2.0, one HDMI, a headphone jack, and a single SD card slot. To disassemble, first turn it off if it's not already. Disconnect any extra things you have connected to it, such as USB drives or any other dongles you have on there. Start by unscrewing the back cover. There are screws under this, these back two placemats, except for the two front ones. The keyboard should then snap out of place. Be careful for any ribbons that may be attached to the keyboard still. The HP Stream is a networking PC, which means basically it doesn't have a lot of RAM or a lot of storage. This HP Stream only has 32 gigs of storage and 2 gigs of RAM. Not a whole lot. The HP Stream runs off an Intel Celeron right here. We're going to remove the battery now. And now the motherboard. Be careful for any other ribbons that are still attached to the board. The HP Stream also has a really streamlined motherboard, which means everything is basically soldered onto the board from the RAM, the CPU, and the storage. The only thing that's not is a network card that is not soldered onto it. Be careful not to damage any components of the motherboard or else it will not work again.
that is the entire motherboard. Nothing special, and that's about it. Here you have the CPU and the GPU since it's integrated. Under this plastic you can see better. CPU, this is the RAM, these two cards right here, and it also has on the back. Generic Hynix brand, so each one is about 250 megabytes, adding to 2 gigabytes. And then this is the eMMC SSD. It's only about 32 gigs and it's by SanDisk. There you see the two USB ports, 3.0, 2.0, and the headphone jack, the HDMI cord. This is where the network card will go, and this is for the, the, sorry, just got a text. <laughs> This is to link back up to the SD card slot and which is also connected to the power. For those of you who say you never need an SD card slot or anything else like that and you just want to remove this card, that's not going to be possible as the power is also connected to this. Removing that will also disconnect the power. Charger. This is for the screen. It connects to the motherboard. And this is the antenna for the Wi-Fi. So basically because the HP Stream only has a limited amount of storage, I use the SD card slot as an external hard drive. This is a 128 gig, and that's what runs the computer basically. Not much on this is upgradable besides the network card. It's not like other computers where, especially like desktops, where you can upgrade basically anything, including the motherboard. On this, you can just slap on anything you want like either an i3 or an i7. Not possible on the HP Stream. On other laptops, like this one here, there are things that you can upgrade. such as the RAM. Again, the network card is almost always upgradable in most computers. The hard drive, or you could swap that out for an SSD, which is what most people would do. An SSD would be better because they go faster than a standard hard drive, which would be slower because it has to spin up and is mechanical. An SSD is not mechanical and will be a lot faster than a normal hard drive. In this computer, I just have a standard 250 gig hard drive. This one only has 2 gigs of RAM, which I have forgotten to put the upgrade in here. This computer is the Compact Presario CQ57. This computer has upgradable RAM and the addition of an upgradable CPU.
For an addition of an upgradable CPU, you can add upgrades later on, such as an Intel Core i5 or higher. So these two, what was already in here, this is the Intel Celeron, which basically is the standard what you buy at Walmart, and then Intel Core i5. You can also get upgrade to an Intel i7. Thank you for watching this breakdown. If you like the video, like it. If you want to subscribe, that's all fine. If you dislike the video for any reason, please comment before you dislike so I can help you this have you any problems. Thank you for watching and goodbye.